hello friends uh, this is the video on analytical reasoning questions and answers I will be taking you through various analytical uh, reasoning type of questions which come in uh, BAT or GRE or GMAT so it will be very helpful uh, also for the MB entrance exams so here is our first set of questions six scientists a b c d and e and f have to demonstrate their subjects namely chemistry zoology botany physics geology and maths one scientist will demonstrate only one day Dem uh, demonstration will start from monday and will end on sunday there will be a, a day of rest chemistry will immediately follow geology a who is a mathematician will demonstrate either on uh, second or last day C will demonstrate on third day physics will be on the fifth day E who is a zoologist demonstrates on second day B has demonstrated on Monday and rest day uh, will be immediately after F's demonstration day so uh, you can quickly go through this question, question set and then we can come to the first question so this is how uh, this type of question should be uh, 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 solved like uh, we are given three uh, three basic things here we have subjects days and persons so you can uh, make three rows or three columns to fill this uh, table so subjects are botany zoology geology chemistry physics and uh, maths we don't know this subject uh, days are monday to sunday persons are so we have to go through the given information and uh, uh, we can fill this set so here by the set of question we don't know which day uh, on which day which uh, subject is taken neither we know the uh, s uh, scientists which uh, take the subject so here are some conditions chemistry will immediately follow geology so here we have kept geology and then chemistry a who is a mathematician will demonstrate either on second or last day c will demonstrate on the third day physics will be on the fifth day again e who is a zoologist demonstrate on second day and b has demonstrated on monday and rest day will be immediately after F's demonstration day so please uh, try to write this uh, uh, these all conditions on a rough page so that uh, uh, after that we can collect all these information and uh, try to fill up uh, the table which we have so let's move on to the table we have so uh, from information second and fourth now second and fourth said a who is a mathematician will demonstrate either on second or last day e who is zoologist demonstrate on second day so the second day is occupied by e so the last day will be occupied by a so let's come to the table again so e zoologist and tuesday is the second day so this is occupied by e so the last day is occupied by a now since chemistry immediately follows geology chemistry and geology will be demonstrated on thursday and wednesday respectively so <coughs> thursday will be chemistry and uh, geology will be on wednesday now the rest day will be on saturday and hence f will demonstrate on friday so uh, this thing is wrong over here so it's just uh, interchange we have to interchange a and f so it's just wrong written over here now we can try to uh, 
welcome to all the questions which we have now on which of the following days no demonstration will take place so we come to the table so the it is on saturday saturday will be the rest day so the answer is c saturday on which day botany will be demonstrated now botany is demonstrated on monday, monday so that's our answer now chemistry is immediately presided by which of the following subjects now chemistry is just held before physics so uh, physics is our answer who demonstrate physics now physics is demonstrated by f uh, it's just written wrong over here so it's just f over here and a over here so the answer is f who among the following demonstrate just after b and before c so just after b and before c we have e so that's our answer so this is how these type of questions should be uh, taken we have to first draw either three columns or three rows and uh, fill all the uh, respective uh, subjects or days or persons according to the conditions given so you can uh, easily fill all this uh, these conditions uh, all these uh, Uh, subjects days and persons and uh, uh, w with respect to the conditions given over here and then can solve one uh, each question one by one let's move on to the second set of questions the sports week of an institute was organized from 19 to 26 of a month 19 being a wednesday during that period six games cricket badminton table tennis kho kho hockey and football were played one game on each day further information is given so you can go through these information you can go through the complete set of information and uh, write it down on a, a piece of paper all the conditions given uh, for your rough work and then we will try to fill up the table uh, with uh, Uh, checking out each condition one by one so please go through this question now this is how the table should be filled we have write, uh, written the sports at the top c cricket as for cricket badminton table tennis kho kho hockey and football so these are the six uh, uh games which we have uh, played from 19 to 26 now the sunday is uh, a break so 19th now according to the condition which game is uh, played on uh, which day we have to check out that so let's move on to the conditions hockey was not played on the closing day that is on 26th now table tennis was played on the previous day of cricket football was not played either on wednesday or saturday no game was played on thursday and sunday kho kho was played on monday there was a gap of 2 days between cricket and football so these are the conditions which we have been given so accordingly let's come to the solution after substituting information given in uh, number 1 3 4 and 6 we find that football can be played either on friday or on or tuesday so just going by the conditions we have uh, reached out to the uh, that uh, football can only be played on friday or tuesday now from the information of 6 now 6 says there was a gap of 2 days between cricket and football so which states that there is a gap of 2 days between cricket and football it is found that the condition is complied with only if football is played on tuesday and cricket is played on saturday so uh, these gap of uh, these days is uh, only fulfilled when 
uh, we played Tuesday. Uh, the football is played on Tuesday, and cricket is played on Saturday. Since, as per information, table tennis is played on the previous day of cricket, hence table tennis is played on Friday. So here is the complete uh, set of table, which uh, I hope you have uh, reached to. So cricket is played on 22nd, that is on Saturday. Badminton is played on Wednesday, 26th. Table tennis is played on 21st, that is Friday. Now we had the uh, uh, gap of on Thursday, 20th. So there is no game over here. And there is a gap on Sunday 23rd, so the again there is no gap over here. Uh, again there is no game over here. Now Kho Kho is played on Monday. Hockey is played on Wednesday 19th. And football is played on 25th Tuesday. So by going through this table, we can answer every question which is given in the set. Now the sports week started with which game? So the sports week started with hockey. So that's our answer. Here is hockey D. Now, how many days gap is there between hockey and football? So, between hockey and football, there is a gap of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 days. So, that's our answer. It's 5 days C. Which pair of games was played on Wednesday? So, Wednesday, we had 2 games. 1 on 19th and 1 on 26th. So, it is hockey and badminton. So it's hockey and badminton. The answer is A. Which game exactly precedes Kho Kho? So before Kho Kho, uh, Kho Kho is played on Monday. Now there is no game on Sunday. But there is a game on Saturday which is cricket. So cricket is our answer. Now table tennis follows which game? Uh, day. S uh, so table tennis for uh, is follow uh, follow uh, by. So badminton is precedes table tennis. So here is our answer. None of these. So you can once again go through this set of question and to the table which we drawn. Now, let's go to uh, go through the table once again. Based on the conditions which we were having, we had drawn this table. So this is the way you have uh, sports at the top and uh, all the days here. So you can fill the sports which is according to the conditions given over here. So in the next video, we will have uh, more such type of questions. Thank you.